Uh, today's ban is a welcome precautionary move, and I congratulate my friend because he did make the right decision on Huawei and again on surveillance and again today. <laughs> But TikTok's ability to act as a data Trojan horse is gravely concerning, and the myriad of other data exploiting technologies on our streets and in our pockets on which we need a national discussion. Now, that national discussion can start with the procurement bill, and I welcome the Shadow Minister raising the amendments that I have been laid to that legislation. We must protect ourselves from hostile state spyware. So, can I urge, urge him to personally? put an eye to those, because hostile states will go to extreme lengths to spy on us. That is their job, but our job is to make sure that we protect ourselves and we protect our people, and tackling techno-authoritarianism must be one of our foremost priorities if we are to deliver on the resilience piece that the Prime Minister set out in the Integrated Review. Well, I, I, I thank the Honourable Lady for her questions, and I think she raises some very important points, as, as ever. Uh, in respect of the Procurement Bill, of course, we continue to engage with members on both sides of the House as, as we approach report stage, and I know that a minister from my department are meeting with the Honourable Lady in respect to the amendments she proposes. I would say that in respect of this legislation, we have taken a very big step forward. For the first time, contracting authorities across the public sector can reject uh, tenders from suppliers which pose a threat to national security, including where that threat arises from a parent or subsidiary company. So we are both lowering the bar and increasing the power, uh, none of those powers we had when we were within the European Union. So this is a significant step forward, and I'm very happy to look at further amendments that, uh, that can build uh, on those proposals.